Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can install and set up Python on our Windows operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, let's check if we already have a Python version installed on our Windows operating system or not. For that, you can simply open command prompt by typing CMD in the search bar. And once the command prompt opens, just type Python here and then press enter. And when you press enter, if it opens this kind of Microsoft Store window, that means Python is not uh, installed on your Windows operating system. And uh, Windows is opening this Microsoft Store from where you can install Python on your Windows operating system. But we are not going to install Python from this Windows Store or Microsoft Store. We are going to install Python from its official website. So let's close this uh, command prompt and for installing Python just open your favorite browser and search for Python and the first link which will appear here will be from python.org so we are going to click on this link and here on this page you can hover over this download section and you can see at the time of making this video Python 3.13.1 is the latest version. When you scroll down a little, you can also see uh, this version here under downloads, which is 3.13.1 at the time of making this video. So you can uh, either go here and click on this button or the link below. I'm going to click on this uh, Python 3.13.1 button, which is going to directly start the download of this exe file. Once this exe file is downloaded, just click on this exe file, which is going to start the installation wizard. And now you can see this installation wizard for the Python. Now this window is very important. Why? Because you can see two checkboxes here. One is for adding or using the admin privileges when installing py.exe. And the other is add python.exe to path. We are going to check both these checkboxes. Why? Because first one is going to add the admin privileges for your Python executable files. And the other one is going to add the Python path to your environment variables. That means you can open or execute Python command from anywhere from your command prompt. So when you open the command prompt, you will be able to use Python command from any folder. So once you have checked both these checkboxes, in the next step, what I would like to do is I would like to change the location where Python will be installed on my Windows operating system. So by default, you can see this long path where Python will be installed. And I want that Python will be installed in my C drive and not on this long path. So for that, I will choose this customize installation here. And in the next step, I'm going to leave everything as default in the optional features and then click on next. And here in the advanced features, I'm going to uh, click on install Python 3.13 for all users. And then I will also check all these checkboxes here. Also, I want to change this location to my C drive. So I don't want to install uh, Python in my programs files in my C drive. I just want this path. So it will be directly installed in my C folder, right? And the folder name will be Python 313 because I will be installing Python 3.13 version, right? So once we have changed the path, I can click on the install button which is going to give me this kind of warning, which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I'm going to click on yes here. And once I click on yes, it's going to start the installation process for Python. And after some time, you will see this kind of message, which says setup was successful. So at this point, we can close this window. And that means Python is successfully installed on our Windows operating system. Now let's verify if uh, Python is successfully install and is working on our windows operating system so for that just click on this windows icon and then click on all apps here and then scroll down a little 
and under p you will see the python option so you can see this python 3.13 option just click on this and it's going to show you various different tools so when we install python it installs this idle ide which is the graphical user interface using which you can uh, develop your python scripts and also it installs the python terminal so let's start with this python terminal first so i'm going to click on this python 3.13 here which is going to open this kind of terminal and then here you can test your python commands so this is called python REPL and if you want to uh, change the properties of uh, this python REPL for example if you want to uh, maximize the font size or uh, change the font then you can click on this icon here and click on properties here and once the property window opens you can see directly the font option so i'm going to increase the font size to let's say 24 here and then i'm going to click on ok and then click on ok and font size has been increased right so here i can uh, give any python command for example we can evaluate let's say what is 5 plus 5 right and then press enter and it's going to give us the result which is 10 right if i want to print something for example i want to print hello world i can use this command which is print which is an inbuilt function in python and in these double quotes i can write hello world here and then press enter and it's going to print hello world so everything is working in this python terminal now let's just open the python idle to see how we can use the python idle so once again uh, click on this uh, windows icon or you can just search for idle ide so just search for idle here and you will be able to see this result and then click on this uh, idle icon and here also you can see similar kind of prompt where you can evaluate your uh, python commands for example adding subtracting or anything or using any uh, python function or you can print something so i'm going to just write print and in these parentheses you can see it gives you more intelligence so it gives you uh, the information what uh, arguments this print function takes and what it does right so i'm going to just uh, add uh, these double quotes and then add hello world here and then close this parenthesis and then press enter and it's going to print hello world once again so this is also working fine right let's say you want to create a python file you can click on file option here and then you can click on new file option it's going to uh, create a new file for you which is untitled right now so we need to give any name to our file so i'm going to once again click on file option here and then i'm going to click on save as and let's say i want to save my file in my documents folder and i have this uh, test folder here where i want to save my file right and then the file name will be test.py here and then i'm going to save this file right so once i have saved this file you can see you can see file name is test.py and it's located in this folder once again i can just uh, let's say print something here or you can write your script here which will be your python script and then it will be saved in this file the advantage of writing your script into a file is that when you close the file it's not going to uh, delete your code right you can always execute your file or python script again and again whenever you want so once i'm done i can uh, save this file and to execute this file i can click on run and then i can click on run module and once i click on run module it runs my uh, script which is test.py into this terminal and it prints hello world so this is how you can create a file and execute it right so your file is here and it runs your script into this idle shell let me close this uh, idle shell and this uh, file and now i want to use 
the command prompt, which is the default command prompt, which comes with Windows operating system. So for that, you can uh, just search for CMD and open the command prompt. And here also, when you type Python space hyphen hyphen version here, it's going to give you the Python version. This is the version we, we have installed. And when you give this Python command, so when you just write Python and then press enter, you will see the prompt similar to uh, the idle IDE or Python terminal, which we have seen earlier, right? Here also, when you type some uh, command, it's going to give you the output. So this is the Windows command prompt, which comes with Windows, right? It's not uh, installed by Python installation, but still we are able to use Python in the command prompt. Also, when you uh, press Control C here, you will see a uh, key interrupt. So if your program is running in loop and you want to stop it, you can just press Control C to stop that program. To quit, just write quit here and then give these two parentheses and then press enter and you come out of your Python REPL. Now we know that we have created this test file in this folder, right? Using the idle IDE. So let's say I want to uh, execute this Python script using the command prompt from the command prompt itself. That means I want to execute this Python script from here itself. I will just copy the path where my uh, test.py file is there. And then in the command prompt, I can just type CD and then paste the path which I have copied and then press enter, which will redirect me to this uh, directory or folder and here I can just type python and then the name of my file which is test.py and then press enter and it's going to execute my python script and in my case it's printing hello world so it prints hello world here so this is how also you can execute a python script or python file using command prompt so this is how you can install and set up python on your windows operating system I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.